wow. Like I said, I'm in awe, honestly. Never expected me to, you know, listen to some... And when I said this is my kind of music, what I meant by that was, you know, vibed out music that's just, it's good vibes. Good vibes, good, like, you don't want to turn it off kind of feeling music. It's music that you can just sit and chill and smoke to. This is the kind of music I love. <laughs> channel today i'm going to react to purity rings um their album it's called shrines it's um the reason i'm reacting to this is because my really good friend sebastian on twitter hey showed me um what is the song called it's called uh fine fine shrine and i was like oh my god i need to hear more of this music and i've been saying i was gonna um react to it for a while and I'm here, and I'm fucking ready. So let's get into this before I start. Please like and subscribe. My question of the day to you guys is, what is your favorite song from this album or top five, if you can do it? So let's get into this. I'm, my expectations are pretty high because Fine Trine was like, woo, I love that song. Let's go. First song is called Crawler Scouts. Crawlers. Wait, Crawler Scout. Yeah, <laughs> let's go. Okay. I gotta turn this up. Wow. I knew it was gonna, you know, be like this different kind of electric sound, you know? It kind of sounds very, it, it sounds very futuristic, if I'm being honest. It's definitely like a different sound of music that you have to have a, it's an acquired taste, to say the least, for sure. This girl's voice is just so, like, ugh. I could listen to the like the style of music all day. Only if it's her though. Or I don't know if there's a band or what. But they snap, okay? Wig. Wig. Okay, that was the perfect introduction for this album, I feel like. Um it really, you know, showcases what you're going to get on the album. Um, I did hear another song, too. I think it's called Belly Speak or something like that. And it's from this album, so I'm not going to be listening to it. I'm not going to be reacting to it because that would be a fake reaction, you know. But the next song is called Amenemy. Um, Amenemy. I'm sorry. This, I, I do want to say this album is, um, or these songs, this whole vibe that I'm getting... It's really good and it sounds 10,000 even times better when you're high. Like, so I was smoking a little bit before I started this. Let's keep going. <laughs> I love that heavy bass that it has. And that's the thing, I'm not really into like heavy bass kind of futuristic electric music. This is different. It's just good vibes, honestly. Like, I love music that gives me good vibes. And that's all I get from any of these songs that I've heard so far, you know? Yeah, this is definitely music that you would listen to, like, on a trip or something, like if you do acid or mushrooms. Or just even smoking, it's such a good vibe. Wow, I love it. I love the, the, um, the, how do I say it? The, uh, like how intense the beats are. 
but there's something about it that just is so calming but so intense at the same time and then along with that her soothing voice it's like perfect like it's the perfect mix of music and i absolutely love it. let's keep going grand loves featuring young magic bitch a feature i'm ready let's go and these long intros just feeling out the beat Like, what? I don't even, that's so unique that her voice is so fucking unique. I can't even explain it. Like, I've never heard another sound artist like this whatsoever. I love the beats too. Like I said, so captivating, so amazing. Honestly, I feel like they're underrated because I've never heard of these guys up until, like I said, my friend showed me them. I never heard, the, heard of them, but I just feel like they're so underrated. Wig. Wig. I don't think it's over. Wig. I love, <clears throat> like, I keep just finding myself getting lost in the, the, the beats or just the sound of the music, you know? And I love, I love being able to get lost in the sound of the music because there was a point last year where I forgot how to get lost in music and that was so sad for me because music for me is so big like it's a big part of my life well it was a big part of my life and now i'm just starting to get that those vibes back you know and i'm starting to see what great music is again this is great music this is underrated music to say the least let's keep going the next song is called Ca Ca cardo cardo cartographist you guys, I'm not the best, you know, it's, this isn't a spelling bee. I'm not, let's just go, let, let's go. Oh, wig, this is good, this is good. Mmm. I just really love the intriguing beats. Like, if I'm being honest. So, like, it brings you in, it draws you in. And you have no choice but to listen, you know? There I go again. I keep getting lost in the music, you guys. I keep forgetting I'm doing a reaction. I'm like genuinely trying to, you know, hear everything that I can. sneak up on you with some extra but that's it wow that was good that was really good that was the longest song in the album too 
like I said, if a song or if an album can, like, get you, like, lost in, you know, the sauce, just, like, listening and, like, you forget you're listening to it, but you know you're listening to it, that's the kind of music that I just love. Music that you just can just sit back and enjoy. This is what I fucking love. Let's keep going. The next song is called Salt Kin. Let's go. Ooh. I need to turn this up a little bit. This is so good. It's such a good vibe. I know I keep saying that, but like... Oh. It's a perfect album to just chill out with your, you know, it's Valentine's Day, you know, chill out with your your boyfriend, your girlfriend, you just lay there, smoke some blunts, oh, I wish I had a nigga, I swear I do. Fuck a Valentine's Day. This is all the love I need to break. Yeah. Mm. Wow. I was just bopping really hard. <laughs> bopping too hard. Wow, that was a bop. Oh my god. The next song, y'all. You guys, I honestly, I can't believe this is like like I'm actually like listening to this right now because I would have never gave this a chance like if somebody didn't say here listen to this like I never would have given this a chance but I'm so glad I did because I can't believe I've been missing out on music like this this is my kind of music I love it let's keep going the next song is called oh I'm not even gonna say it I can't let's go oh I like this intro Ooh, come on. Promising. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. This is giving me super bass vibes. people know how to make music they know how to do it there's an it when it comes to music and they know how to do it period and you know it's not even the beats it's not even just her not even the vibes the lyrics as well you know it's just something so spiritual I can't explain it I'm sorry I know I'm saying that, you know, I'm loving this, and I don't know, I just can't explain it. It's just really good vibes, and so spiritual, like I said. Oh. Wow. I think that probably was my favorite song here so far. Well, I don't know. All the, all the songs in here are fucking amazing, but that was definitely top five, I will say that. The next song is called Loft... Uh, I'm not reading. I'm not reading titles no more. It's getting on my nerves because I can't even read them. Let's go though. You know, I listened to a few songs. There was probably three songs that I like all together listened to when Sebastian had told me to listen to them. And this kind of sounds familiar, so I might have listened to this one too. I don't know, but I'm still gonna vibe. Period. Wig. Wig. 
I keep getting lost in the music. I'm so sorry, you guys. It's so crazy where music can take you, you know? genuinely in awe right now like genuinely shook there's one more song left it's called shook and let's go i'm genuinely shook right now like one of the best albums i have heard in a long time i'm gonna add a lot of these songs to my playlist um i don't have my phone with me right now it's charging but i'm gonna add a lot of these songs to my playlist i'm gonna tell you a top five when i'm done with this song so let's go Ooh. Here we go. Mm. They're closing the album off with a banger. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I'll say it, that was my favorite song on the album so far. I mean, I still love Fine Shrine because that was, you know, the first song I've ever heard by them. And it's, it, you know, it's it's going to be nostalgic um, in a few years, you know. But, wow. Like I said, I'm in awe, honestly. Never expected me to, you know, listen to some... And when I said this is my kind of music, what I meant by that was, you know, vibed out music that's just, it's good vibes, good vibes, good, like, you don't want to turn it off kind of feeling music. It's music that you can just sit and chill and smoke to. This is the kind of music I love. And I'm so glad I gave them a chance. My top five from this would be Shuck, first of all, because that was a really good song. Salt Kin, Grand Love, um, hmm. Oh, I like this OB, OB Deer song and the cart cartographist song. They're all really good songs, but I think that was my top five. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Let me know how you feel about this album. Like I said, it's different. And I truly appreciate the, I, I wouldn't say they're long, but the intros and the outros. They really like get you feeling that beat and like it makes you just like, you like I said, you have no choice but to listen and it's so captivating and I couldn't ask for anything better. I am gonna be listening to more and more of their music, I'm gonna be watching their music videos, everything. So make sure you guys are like, subscribe and bye motherfuckers.